Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you for joining us for day five of the Hangathon, uh, the Accelerator, and with the amazing John Benson and all the great content that he is giving us every day. It's really, really awesome. Before we uh, before we dive in to today's training, I want to do some uh, explanation of where everything is on the site because I think that people are still having some challenges finding the replays and the worksheets. So let me just share my screen for a second. And I can find my screen. There we go. And so when you are on the website, you see right here on the top, there is a menu. And under the menu, under resources, there's replays. If you click on replays, you are going to be getting a series of all the website, all the, um, all the hangouts. And you can just click on each one of them and go directly to the day of the hangout and watch the replay, read the comments, and engage with us there. Again, like every other day, we will start with the training. This link right now is not active. It will become active as soon as we open it up for Q&A. So please type your questions in the comments so we can follow, uh, follow them, answer them if you're not jumping into the hangout. But definitely take advantage of joining us in the hangout right here and speaking with John face to face. There are many people who are doing this and getting great results. Um, and I also want to uh, welcome everyone who's watching us. Bahimi, I see you're here. And I can't pronounce your name. She's from Italy. Adeline, she's showing up. And the, uh, Ila is saying that she cannot fall asleep, John, every day because her brain is going over thinking of all this good stuff that you're teaching her. So this is amazing, guys. Today, we're actually going to give you um, your third the actions for the next 30 days. So if you have any questions about everything that we've covered so far, let us know. And let's start with the content. Awesome. Thanks, Yifat. Hey, guys. How are you today? Bright and shiny Monday morning, at least here in Malibu. Actually, it's kind of cloudy, which is a rarity. Fortunately, I've got a very bright light shining in my face to make it look like it's sunny. But um, awesome. Thanks for coming back and uh, joining me for day five. And I just have to say, first of all, before we go any further, that we do have not one, but two winners of Open Click Buy. We did choose uh, carefully, might I add. Someone snuck in at the last minute. Um, at the last minute and got in and it was, um, that was I had to give it away for humanitarian reasons to one person and not that you guys aren't all doing something really awesome for the world but we chose one and for just really awesome marketing reasons for another so Yafat do you want to start there and also would you remind everyone to download the worksheet today because the worksheet is just one big circle with two lines on it, and you're not going to understand what I'm saying unless you have that in front of you. Yes. So let's start yeah, with start the, the let's start with the winner. So I'm going to give you a drum roll. Okay. Yvette, you're going to announce them, not me. Oh, I'm going to announce them. Okay. <laughs> the first one is actually Elaine Matson. Let me meet you. There you go. Elaine Matson, you are the winner because. Um, you are going to do something really, really cool, and you are going to create a video about the book. So we are excited uh, to see your video report. And uh, the second person, I have to go back there. Sorry. <laughs> and Because like, I can't remember her name. The second person is... And John, you're muted, so let me unmute you if you're speaking. Mm -hmm. No, nope, I'm not speaking, but I can start speaking. So there you the go. reason I, I chose oh, so it's uh, Heather, Heather Gunter. Yeah. And do you want to tell them why uh, she is the winner? Yeah, because Heather's doing something with with children, and and uh, that's something that, of course, anything that I can do to help in that in that regard, it's you know, uh, there's going to be probably half the tactics in there you'll be able to use. The other half are maybe too aggressive uh, for what you're wanting to do, and. For both of the winners, congratulations. We, we picked uh, two females, not because we're sexist, but because it just happened to roll that way. Um, we're going to give a link out if you guys want to, to buy the book. It's $47. Uh, it's, it's a no-brainer to make that money back if you, have, if you have an email list of like 15 or 30 
30 people or more. I mean, uh, I talk about the, the myth of email size in that book. But just FYI, uh, the, the, we didn't ever intend to actually sell that book. We were just talking about it as, as, a, as a prize giveaway. But a lot of you guys said, hey, can I buy it? So we went ahead and put up a special sales page for you guys because normally it's a $67 book. It sounds expensive for a book and it's going to go to $97, but internet marketing books are a lot different than just your typical ebooks because they're instructional manuals on how to make money. And I think it's just a it's just a groovy book. There's no bonuses. And for a guy that wrote the upsell formula, guess what? There's no upsells either. So I literally just put this page together for you guys literally yesterday. Uh, the page had been up on our internal site, a uh, totally different page. It was like literally maybe 200 words uh, because it was for people that we just wanted to have it and get it out and, and got the critical reviews. And, and I've got a lot of reviews coming in from guys like Dean Jackson, Evan Pagan, other guys that are, uh, Daniel Levis has got a review that he sent me. But uh, so it, it's so just a little fair warning before, before you get the book. It is most assuredly an R rated book, meaning I don't. I don't mince words. I'm very much in your face, and it's funny. It's meant to be somewhat of a sardonical look at, at email and what's going on in the email world with a lot of guys out there that are just doing really stupid stuff, and I call them out on it, and I make fun of them, and I say it in a very pithy, funny way, I hope. Hope you get to have a sense of humor. Uh, there will not be a PG-rated version of this, at least not in the near future. Don't worry. It's not littered with swear words or anything, but it does have a few, and it's extremely controversial in places because uh, I talk about what I call an email apocalypse or an uh, information apocalypse which I do believe is happening it's already happening when I wrote the book uh, almost a year ago it was really on the verge of it now it's really starting to happen so I think you'll find it really fun um, anyway that's that's our winners and I really want to thank both of you and everyone for submitting their ideas on why they should win the book uh, we I read every single one of them I promise down to this morning because the last one was posted like I think what an hour ago maybe it was very recently so thank you uh, so in the in, in, now if you can get that worksheet in front of you everyone got it everyone got it <laughs> I got it I got it I got it okay cool cool uh, today's today's gonna piss you off because everyone's expecting 30 days for me to map it out I'm not mapping out 30 days I just said I'm gonna give you a 30 day plan meaning this is what you're going to do for the next 30 days and this will be the shortest tutorial that you will ever hear me do, but it will be the most profound if you just simply apply it. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera. I was looking literally at the, at the little thing that says plus.google.com. Uh, so you have to apply this stuff. My camera is like way up here, by the way. Uh, you have to apply this stuff for it to work. I've given this challenge to, I'd say, 20,000 marketers-ish over the last two years. Uh, speaking live engagement, speaking uh, on webinars, and etc. And I'm just going to warn you guys about maybe 200. So I don't know, a fraction have taken me up on the challenge, and not one single person that I know of personally failed when they did. So I have a hundred percent track record with this challenge. Pretty good. The problem is, is very few people will take me up on it. Are you ready? You got the circle? Okay, what you do is you draw a circle. If you don't have it, just draw a circle and slice that circle down the middle like you're cutting a pie in half. And here's your 30-day schedule. On the left, for four hours a day, let's pretend you work an eight-hour day. If you work a 10-hour day, make it five hours. Half of your day, I want you to write these words. Focus on my sales copy. And on the other half of the day, you write this. Everything else. That's it. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm open to questions at this point. No, no seriously, I, I mean, that's it. If you do that for 30 days, I have yet to see this not double or even triple someone's revenue, even advanced marketers. If they just do nothing for four or five hours a day, I've got, got hey, the most success stories I have is when guys toss everything aside and do nothing but focus on their sales copy for the entire day and, and th yeah then you'll skyrocket now I've done this myself so I know for a fact that this works every single time I've done it it's worked every single time I've had someone else do it it's worked <clears throat> the question is is will you do it it's not a question of will it work it's, it's seriously just not an issue it will work now in case you're wondering 
is this is this a lead into the next the next five days? Of course, it's a lead into the next five days. I have the best product on sales copy you can imagine. However, because I'm a cool guy and because I believe that I'm not the only person out there that's got an edge on sales copy, I just happen to be a, the best guy for video sales letters and I think for pers for what I call ethical persuasion. I talk ethical persuasion a lot. You can be extremely persuasive. Like if you read any of the sales pages, in fact, uh, uh, you know, forget who it was that it was a marine. It might not have been marine. So excuse me if I got the name wrong. I'm not looking at the names, but said that wow, the sales copy is really long, and and I sent her this article that said yeah, yeah long copy works every single it beats the crap out of short copy all the time. And there's not a there's not a time when it doesn't unless you're selling like a cure for cancer or something that's so obvious like that. So yes, um, the copy on the and the sales copy whether it's a video sales letter or a text page. Longer copy tends to outperform, and I think I have the best copy for that. But if you read that, it's very persuasive and it's extremely honest. It's just got very clever elements. And what I do inside Accelerator is teach you where to find those clever elements, so that you don't have to be a wordsmith. You can find clever elements by digging into layers that most people don't think about. Just do you remember back on day one when we did the hook formula and how I walked you through steps that allowed you to become more creative than you would have been had you simply sat down with a sheet of paper and gone, okay, what's my hook? Let me think. Um, <laughs> that doesn't work for most people. It works for, for copy. I can do that. Some other people can do that. But even sometimes I get stumped and pros get stumped and then we go to these kind of formulas. So for the average person that does not want to be a copywriter, I, I advise that you try not to be unless, unless you are, then welcome to the club. Then these formulas are lifesavers because they can really cut down the time and the energy, the mental energy it takes to create. But that is the 30-day schedule. I want to know if there's a way to do this, you fat. I don't know. I know there is a way to do it and go to a webinar. I'm not sure about Google Hangouts. Is there a way to say, raise your hand and say, yes, I'm game. I really am going to take John's challenge. I'm going to split my day in half for the next 30 days, and I'm going to do nothing but focus on the sales message on my sales page for at least half the day, at least. More if you can. How many of you are willing to take me up on that challenge knowing that if you do so, we're looking at doubling, even tripling, or in some cases like, you know, uh, octillion tupling, if that's a word, your revenue, especially if you're not starting for nothing, you know, um, I'd love to see that happen for you. And and what's great about this is this, it's not a guarantee for my product to do that. I think my product, I do fully guarantee my product, but what I do is I say, look, if you were willing to work your ass off and, and really dedicate yourself to this, got the best product out there for this, but also gave you a lot of books, a lot of books that both my production manager, Travis, and I both really love. Uh, we're both copywriters, obviously, and, and there's a lot of other resources I could have given you. We just gave you kind of 10 of our very favorite books of all time on copy and persuasion. I don't make a dime from any of those books, so in case you guys are like, wow, well, Accelerator is just not for me right now for whatever reason, I wanted to give you tools that you could use. So uh, I think that that's really the best that I can give you as far as advice goes, 30 days, half your day, and just watch what happens. Now, what's interesting is this idea stemmed, came from a book called The One Thing, and this is written by a guy that, well, I mean, if you read the book, you'll find out that he's extremely successful to the tune of, I forget, it's like, it's over a billion in revenue or something like that. It's a, it's a, he made a lot of money, and his focus became very, very simple. His whole day, his whole focus for his entire company structure and for him became what's the one thing that I'm going to do? And his bare minimum was half the day. So this is where I got the idea. Half of the day, I'm going to do this. The other half of the day is for everything else. And he goes even further. He says, I don't even start my day until I've completed that half a day or more of, of my one thing. Because here's what it breaks down to, folks. And this is true from, oh God, this is so hard for me to take this advice. So if you're going, I don't know, you fat, you might be going, I can't do that because my mind is so creative and scattered. It's hard for me to take this advice. Every time I've done it, I've succeeded massively. So I'm going to end, and we're going to take, so I did this on purpose, so we can take a lot of questions. We can take a lot of your people, come online, ask me face-to-face. -face. You can ask me anything. It doesn't have to be about this. But every person, single time I've been to a mastermind, I'm in, involved in several high-end masterminds. I would get up and say on my hot seat, well, here's the problem that I'm facing with XYZ product or XYZ marketing problem. And invariably, the most successful people in the room, we're talking about people that sold their companies for nine figures that are, you know, that are just doing entrepreneurial stuff because they like it. You know, they're <laughs> extraordinarily successful human beings, super nice people. 
everybody's going, well, yeah, you're doing too much. Focus on one thing. And at the time, I was like focusing on 19 things. And it was through listening to that mentorship at long last. It took me. It took. It did take me a while to do that. No one gave me the 30-day challenge. I'm giving it to you now. That made it, that would have made it a lot easier. But they just said in a broad scope picture, focus on one thing and stop everything else, and you're going to be successful at it. So Warren Buffett talks about it. Bill Gates talks about it. Steve Jobs talks about it. I mean, those guys were sort of successful, <laughs> and so do all the other mentors that I talk to. Without one exception, they focus primarily on one thing. One thing. So here's your one thing to focus on. It's not your product. It's it, it, even if you don't have one. It's not your service. It's not your social media. Nothing personal. So you fat. It's not. It's not Google. It's it's your sales copy. If you focus on that for 30 days, watch what happens. It's going to blow your mind. So you fat. Awesome. We got so, um, lots of questions. Actually, yes, we have a lot of people taking you up on it. Uh, Christina Gray says, absolutely. I commit to the 30 day plan. Thank you, John. Maureen says, half my work day on sales copy. Yes, count me in. Uh, October says, do you literally, literally mean to write, focus on my sales copy <laughs> some multi-thousand times for four and a half, four or five hours, then get to working on sales letter? What's the fundamental principles? Putting your mind into a special mode, does it break the cycle if you do it for lunch? What if you can't put that much time in consecu consecutively? <laughs> Hold on. Let's talk. Okay. First of all, um, you can put that much time in consecutively. Even if you have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, do it. Do it. I come from an athletic background. I was a football player and still bodybuilder, etc. So and I've heard every excuse in the book, every single excuse in the book for why someone can't do something. And I know guys that are the most successful guys I know. I can't do cardio. Oh, really? Well, I know a guy that gets up at 3 in the morning to go do cardio. I know another guy that gets off work at 1 in the morning to go work out. So no, I don't buy those excuses. Those are excuses. I'm not knocking on you, pal. I'm just saying somebody has to be your loving mentor here and say, just get off your ass and do it. You can dedicate your time to do it. It is the power of consecutive. Yes, it is very important to keep those hours sacrosanct. I mean, they are sacred, right? And the, you know, if for whatever reason, let's say that you work an impossible shift, you work like you're working in a children's hospital, and I'm making this up, and you there's just no way that you can do that. Great, do the best that you can then. But if you can't, there's very few people who can't uh, can't make that happen. I'm serious. It just takes a lot of effort. But again, the universe tends to reward people that put forth great deals of effort. Now, when I say effort, it's not work. It's effort in a focused direction. So. There's a great line in Wall Street. I'm, by the way, I'm going to cover why it works. That's a great question, so thank you for asking that. Because I just said, just do this and trust me. <laughs> okay, I'll cover why it works, um, or why I think it works. There's a great line in the, in, the, in the original Wall Street. I don't know how many of you guys have seen the original Wall Street, where Gordon Gecko is driving in the back of a limo with Bud Fox, and he looks over, and he looks at a guy in a suit and a guy who's homeless. And he says, are you telling me the difference between that guy and that guy is hard work? And he goes on to say, look, my dad dropped, you know, was su worked super hard all of his life. He dropped dead at, dead at 42 with a heart attack and tax bills. So hard work is important. Don't get me wrong. But it's not the only thing. Hard work in any direction is not going to get you anywhere. Hard work in a focused direction, one that has been looked at, analyzed, proven statistically by tons of different people. We started the whole Accelerator um, uh, hangathon by talking about Forbes magazine saying, yeah, you can succeed online if the whole thing is about copywriting. We know that that's one of the most important components of, of, of internet marketing success. So yes, focusing on that is great, but what we tend to do, and everybody's guilty of it, I'm guilty of it, is that we tend to focus on busy work. You know, we feel productive if we answer 400 emails, or we feel productive if we clean our office, or we feel productive if we, you know, if we do something that doesn't promote that we have 10 meetings in a day. That's my that's my Achilles heel. I don't I don't do it myself, but when I see other people doing it, it's just like ah, uh, you just want to like yank them out by the hair. Meetings are not going to make you wealthy. A short meeting of 20 minutes a week, great. Get your get your act over with. Get it done. Get back to work. What's going to make you wealthy is focusing on one thing with a lot of intensity. And the reason why it works is because of the way the brain works. The brain is a pattern forming machine. So let me give you another little tip. It's not on the sheet. <laughs> Every single day I say this, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. 
one of the great ways to become very, very good at copywriting, not that you have to be a copywriter, but this is a copywriter trick. Remember, I'm giving you tricks to become better at it. You don't have to be one professionally. Is to write by hand out the sales letters that you see, like my sales letters or XYZ sales letters. Write them out by hand because what it's doing is imprinting in your mind. This is an old trick, by the way. It imprints into your mind using the kinesiology. Using your using a, a kinesthetic approach to learning, you're physically doing something, and your brain is linking that and making patterns. And the more you do this stuff, the more you study. So that's one hour out of your day. Just write down really awesome emails that you get, or really awesome sales pages that you get. Write it out by hand, and just keep a stack of it. it doesn't have to do anything. Just write it out by hand. Let the brain do the rest. It forms patterns, and when you form more patterns after doing something repetitively over and over and over again. You simply get good. Now I'm going to end by saying this: every great athlete, every great athlete is follows a great mantra. I don't know who said this, but it's really great that repetition is the mother of skill. So the more you repeat something over and over and over again, the more likely you have a tendency to become good at it. So saying four hours a day for 30 days, guess what? Even with my course, which is very in depth. Even if you bought everything I ever wrote, it, you would run out of time in those four hours a day. Maybe you wouldn't run out of time when it comes to tweaking your video sales letter and then getting it up online and those those kind of things. It could take up to 30 days. But if you're going to focus for 30 days, say six hours a day, then yeah, you're going to be spending a lot of time like looking at books, handwriting emails, sub, uh, uh, handwriting letters, etc. But guess what? You're forming these patterns that are going to serve you for the rest of your career. You don't have to be a copywriter, but the moment you sit down and look at your own sales page, you'll be able to immediately go, ah, that doesn't work at all. That sounds like an article, not a sales letter, or that I'm missing a, I'm missing a value add. I'm missing a call to action. I'm missing bullets. I'm missing benefits. There's no what's in it for me in the first, uh, the first paragraph on a video sales letter. Where's my pattern interrupt? You, you will see these things as clear as, as I'm looking at this camera right now. That's how clear you will see them, and the brain will form patterns, and it will just teach you, in, 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 you know, intuitively. You'll get it. You'll just start getting it. So this is why that assignment is so important. You will lay down neurological patterns that will serve you for the rest of your life. Now, I'm asking for 30 days. If you're a professional copywriter, you should be doing this every day for years, years, and you will be masterful. You will be absolutely masterful. You will command a six-figure salary for every single letter you write, minimum. That's how these guys, including myself, get to where we got is, is by practice, 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 practice. This is the old, you know, how do we get to Carnegie Hall kind of thing. So that's my, my tip for you. And it doesn't, it's not an easy tip. It's not one that's fancy or requires formulas of any kind. It's just one that ruthlessly works every single time. I love it. I love it. It's, it's so true. It's like the 10,000 hour um of thing. If you want to become good at something, you have to spend at least 10,000 hours in it, doing it. Um, so actually, before guys, the link to join the Hangout is now open. I know we opened it a little earlier because we always run out of time. So refresh the page and you can join us in the Hangout. And uh, while people are refreshing and joining us, John, there's another question. The question is, do you mean, where, 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 where is it? Um, when you say spend four hours on sales copy, does that include writing the product that comes out of the sales copy, or can you define focus on your sales copy? What do you mean by that? Yeah, it's another great question. That means focusing on only your sales message, not your product. Now, you'll get ideas from your product that you'll do for the next four hours, <laughs> okay? Remember, I love writing sales copy first. I've done it so many times, I can't tell you. Uh, write the copy first, because when you start writing out the bullet points of what you want to deliver, you'll say, oh, wow, I need to include that in my book, and it's just going to make it that much better. So, no, I'm not talking about creating your product. This is complete and utter focus on your sales message. And it's, yeah, it seems like it's just complete overkill, but it's not. It is the most important thing that you do. So I'm going to give you a yet another sports analogy for all you guys who aren't sports fans. I apologize. But... The vast majority of professional athletes spend most of their time on fundamentals. It's a very well-known fact that Michael Jordan, for example, spent hours a day doing free throws and layups. It's no wonder he was one of the best in the NBA at that. When other guys with his skill level, they were you know, trying to you know, hit threes from the, the, beyond the line. They were trying to do all this fancy stuff. He's just doing the same thing over and over and over. 
there's there's you know success leaves clues and this is a huge clue for you it's repetition and I'm not asking you to do that for the next two years of your life I'm asking you to try it for 30 days 30 days that's it and I'm gonna give you the tools over the next five days that's gonna accelerate example, that hours a day no intended way beyond what you think is possible to give you a lot of the sales copy for you then you can take that sales copy that I've already pre-written in, in thousands of different uh, iterations and then modify it make it your own to, to toy with it because you're inside of a safe formula you'll know what to do once you're inside of there and then you can edit it to, to play with it but yeah the focus on that also will just make you so single-minded toward wow the most important thing I've got to do is to sell my product so I realize that we've got multiple doctors here. I spoke to uh, I spoke to a young woman yesterday who's a Chinese uh, medical doctor, uh, and I spoke to a, another gentleman who's um, uh, an MD, I believe. And so I think we've got four or five different doctors on here. Um, so you guys, of all people, know the the rigor that goes into medical school and how much time you spend doing repetitive things over and over and over again. Well, yeah, that's the nature that's why doctors become doctors you don't do something once and forget about it at least I hope you don't <laughs> um, so that's the same principle so we're just gonna focus for four hours a day on nothing but sales copy and once you do that just watch what happens I've yet to see some I've, all I can say is I've yet to have anyone come back to me and say you know what I did that and nothing happened <laughs> I love the challenge and I, it seems like everybody here is up to the challenge as well so we are good to go um, before we dive into the questions, uh, people are joining in the Hangout. There are already people saying, John, that they want to buy the Accelerator, which is really, really awesome. Um, and uh, the question is from Jonathan Hawking says, he already watched your uh, webinar back in January. He wants to buy the Accelerator and he's asking for a special bonus that you offered back then. So should I share that with you now or do we want to talk bonuses? <laughs> Uh, sure, we sure we can talk bonuses. I'm not sure what bonus it is. Uh, we do offer some bonuses that are time sensitive. Like, for example, I I don't remember which one you're referring to, but we offered a bonus for Daniel Levis and I did an email alchemy workshop together. Well, that was a live event, so obviously we can't uh, we can get the recording to you, but we can't invite um, you to a live event. But it depends uh, on what the bonus is. Seven headline seven headlines formula. Oh sure, the he the headline formula is included inside the accelerator. Yeah, so that's that's actually part of the bonuses. So, um, so it's already in in there. And if for any reason your membership doesn't give that to you, send an email to support at accelerator com, and we'll make sure to get it in there uh, because we just added it last week. So that that's a very recent add on. Uh, let me briefly go over with you. This is not a sales pitch. I'm just going to go over exactly what what's going on here. Uh, we are raising the price of accelerator. Uh, as of February 1st. Now, this is not false scarcity. This is real. We've, been, we've had this in the works for four months now. And the reason we're raising the price is twofold. Number one, um, and I'm just being completely honest with you, it, it, you, you value a product with the demand that it, that, that it generates. So the demand for this product has been so overwhelming, and the results have been so overwhelming that, well, I've got marketers. I'm, I'm not kidding. I, if you don't believe me, <laughs> go watch the video, sell the testimonials. I mean, one of them just says, I think John's an idiot, and she uses that word <laughs> for selling this for under 10 grand. I mean, because it makes a lot of people a lot of money. So we decided to raise the price, but we're not just hoarding the profits. We decided to raise the price in February 1st, and we're taking that money and putting it forward to making Accelerator 4, which all you guys get to benefit from without paying the extra price if you get in before February 1st. So it's an $800 savings that I decided to offer everyone here on the Hangout, and that ends February 1st. It doesn't end tonight, so I'm not giving you guys false scarcity. It ends February the 1st, and we weren't even going to bring this up until now. And that does include some sweet, sweet bonuses. Um, $100 million conversion seminar that I did with 30 of the top marketers in the world, um, and I was able to dissect their, vi their videos, including the $100 million Porter Stansberry video. Um, so that's pretty cool, uh, being able to instruct those guys and say, here's how we make your conversions even better. comes with... Um, it comes with Traffic Pros, which is great. It's 10 hours of videos with people who get free traffic, people who get paid traffic, etc. And as far as what Accelerator comes with, it's not. I wasn't satisfied with just, in my opinion, the best teaching tool and software out there. This year, we added, as part of the program, this isn't a bonus. This is actually part of the financial structure that we've created. You guys get four hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching. 
and you get that from, from my Accelerator coaching team, team that will make sure you do the two most important things, implement and implement. <laughs> Okay. That's our implementation coaching. So what's really cool is these guys and girls are trained in marketing. So they can help you find a lot of nooks and crannies that will slip through the cracks. The very first worksheet that you go through with these guys, or the very first uh, call rather that you go through with these guys, when I went through it to, to, to train everybody, I was blown away because we hired, in a, hired in a, a coaching staff that had been doing this for 15 years. We just trained them on what we do. And I was like, wow, I did have no idea I was missing this, this, and this in my business model. So I wanted to go overboard and say, I'll not only get you the sales letter, I want to get you your business. I want to help you get your business. And if you want to continue the coaching after those four sessions, that's between you and the coaches. That's fine. But that's the kind of value that we offer, and that's the reason why the price is, is what it is. There's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Plus, we're implementing this year that finally I get to do this. We get to do Google Hangouts at least once a month. We're going to try to do twice a month with me. Um, maybe Yafat if she's really nice, if she's cool enough to say yes, maybe. I don't know, maybe? She could host maybe, it? Maybe, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'll have to figure it on my way through. But yeah, so you guys get to come on and chat, chat with me specifically about Accelerator stuff. Um, and, and my goal here was to make Accelerator extremely, well it's already extremely powerful, but it make it extremely accessible. So we get you that, we get you this, the, what's called the copy posse, which is about a thousand marketers that are from all ranges, total beginners to absolute studs, and they're in there, it's, it's a very popular Facebook group, but it is locked down. It is, so if you, if you were to like try to go there right now and go, I'm going to sneak in, good luck. Uh, we've, we've got full time people doing nothing but manning, looking up email addresses, making sure people <laughs> didn't refund, so we're really particular about who we let in there. There are no buddies. It's all it's all paid members, and that makes the community super super tight. So there's so much stuff involved in that. I, I, if I just gave you a course that did video sales letters, it would be worth what we're asking. But we wanted to overkill it, and and also uh, as you'll see over days six and ten, the software design is extraordinary and very very cool, and it took a lot of money to build. So. That's my extremely non-sales pitchy sales pitch. Uh, but yeah, the link, just give them the link to get that, that to get the $800 discount that will change February 1st at midnight. Don't, don't, don't try to test me on that one. It's going to change. So um, there you go. Um, thanks a lot for, th thanks a lot, by the way, for you guys that, that said that they, they want to jump in. I'm, I'm really grateful that, that for, for, the, for that and for earning your trust. But I'm more happy for you that you're going to get involved in something that's going to really change your business and your life. And you know, John, already, I mean, the last five days have changed people's lives. And, um, you know, I know the accelerator will do just much. If you guys want to buy it already, really, these five days were not about sales pitches, but if you cannot wait, it's right below uh, on the bottom of the page in the footer. You'll see a link directly to the $100, uh, the $800 discount. So you can go ahead and click that and get started with the training tomorrow. Actually, John is going to walk you through each section of the accelerator. If you already have the software with you, that might actually make it uh, much easier. Am I right, John? Am I right, John? Yeah, so what I wanted to do is take the adage from a friend of mine who's, I think, one of the best marketers in the world, Dean Jackson. And I believe Dean said this, and if it wasn't Dean, it was Dean Graziosi. It was one of my two friends that were Dean. Um, said that if you give away 90% of your product, people will still buy it for the other 10%. I'm not giving away, you can't give away 90% Accelerator because it's, a, it's, it's lots of hours of tutorial videos. And of course, it's proprietary software. Um, so I can't, you, know, you can't just give that away. But what I can do is give away the, the steps involved. And so I'm doing that and said, look, hey, if, if I map out every single step, because I've talked about the steps, five steps of VSL formula for six, seven years now. But what I've never done is said, okay, under step one, here's all the nested steps. And under step two, here's everything that's nested and talked about every little thing that goes inside of a video sales letter. So if you take copious notes, you'll have everything but the sales copy. You'll have, and of course, the machine to do it and all the bonuses and the community and the coaching. Uh, okay, so you're, you so it's going to be valuable, but nowhere near as valuable as getting accelerator. But yeah, if you've got it, that's even better because that way I can thoroughly explain it. You know, I've got videos on every single page, on every single section, as you'll see, that does explain that section. But it always helps to he see, watch it live, face to face, ask questions. So if you're a accelerator member, by all means, come in tomorrow. I'm going to invite everyone that is a member uh, to come in tomorrow. Today, I did post in 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 the copy posse saying, "Hey guys." 
Um, Celerator, go check it out. <laughs> Members, go check out the. So I see we, we got some here today that I recognize. So awesome. Awesome. So let's yeah. uh, let's get started. Cheryl, you were the first one. Um, go for it. Hey, Cheryl. Hello. Hello. Um, How are you? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. The fine. great inspirational teacher. You got my message. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, my brother took me over the coals about coaching, and he said, "Well, you can tell, you can this," and I, he says, "You can inspire me, but it doesn't mean I'm going to do it because he coached football." So I said, "No, with this gentleman, you get all four." You know. So oh, wow. anyway, anyway, thank you. This is sort of um, um, off. It's sort of like you've been focusing and and be on you know like problem solution. You know, doing the research, finding out, hitting those hot points. What if you have happy products? What if, you know, part of my client base, their e-commerce, their, their products are not connected with problem solution. How do you, how do you position that? How do you, do you still try to find a pain point even though it's a happy product, like a consumer product, a commodity item? That, and, that, and Can you give me an, a, and I'm going to uh, take that. Can I give what? Can you give me a specific example, and I'll take that and show you how I would turn it around. Okay, let's say outdoor wood furniture, handcrafted Adirondack chairs. Oh, you you gave me an easy one. Outdoor wood furniture. Well, something I know a little bit about because we have outdoor wood furniture here. Okay. At our, at our home, so it's like so. I mean, this I'm this is completely off the top of my off the cuff, but this is how I would go about it. Anyone that's got outdoor wood, wood furniture, check this out. Have you ever invited friends over to your to, uh, over to enjoy a nice evening outside, and they sat down upon your furniture, and you could just see the wincing look in their eyes from how uncomfortable it was? Maybe one of them got a splinter. Maybe it looks awful from wear and tear. Wouldn't you like to put an end to that and also enjoy a See where I'm going? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. Every single product and every single surface has an intense pain point. Uh, it, the, the, it's only the degree of the intensity that changes. So, so for this one, it's not like you know people aren't losing their friends over their patio furniture. However, I, what I just did is we'll quickly find what I, what do I not like about most outdoor furniture, and it's that it's ugly. Um, that it's painful to sit on. That's the worst part. So if you if you solve that problem, like our furniture is a pleasure to sit on. Boom, I'm there. I'm, you already got me. And then if you say, besides, you know, a lot of furniture uses cheap wood that splinters easily. And if you don't want that, especially if you have, I'm going to keep going. Especially if you have kids. And you know what? If you have a dog, you know that dog could actually start gnawing on the furniture and actually die from eating those splinters. I I can make anything worse. I'm. I'm this is, <laughs> it's super, I, for an optimistic guy, and I'm, I mean, most, most of you guys can tell I'm a pretty positive minded guy. I can make anything worse. Uh, but uh, so, so that's how you would do it and create that compelling sales message. Okay. I mean, okay. so, I, mean, so all right, I, I think I understand. But it's, it's what I struggle with because a lot of my local clients are, are involved in, in, you know, it's not a problem solution. I mean, they're so, trying to sell a product. So, um, and I try, to, I try to take your approach with things, but they're, they don't have problems. But now I okay. Okay. You just gave me you just gave me an example of one that apparently didn't have a problem, but I just told you what a great problem would be. You want to try a second one? <laughs> um, uh, hardware. Tell me, you know, a hammer, tools. God, that's that's easy. <laughs> okay. Come on, you gotta get harder than that. It's like you know, have you ever heard the adage that the, 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 it's 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 uh what was it? What's the adage about tools that that it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, the Wrong tool for the right job. Is that it? Is something like yeah. that? It's yeah. like, like yeah. Uh, so, so, so I would start out by saying, do you realize the vast majority of home improvement accidents happen because you're using a wrong or ineffective tool? In Perfect. fact, Perfect. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's so true. I had a hammer the other day, right? This was like a, oh, a couple of months ago. And I was trying to beat a screw into our porch to, to mount like a, a gazebo yeah. with hammer. Because okay. I didn't have a freaking drill, and you know what I ended up doing? I ended up smashing my finger. Not bad, but I ended up smashing the hell out of the the, the patio itself. So yeah, that's what I would do. It's like you always look at the pain point because every single person watching that's going to go, oh gosh, I've done that. It doesn't matter that they're looking for hammers. You're still just being human. Yeah, you're just still being human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it works every time. Hard work to me is really, to me is really. But I kept trying to think, of how do you, you know, 
you show a hammer with duct tape and you know talk about you know like how bad yours look and are you waiting for the head to fly off the next time you hit a nail and you know I mean okay I, I get that I get that I mean that's you know and that's part of it you know the um what about this age group of um, I'm all, I'm I'm creating my own uh, product about uh, in a whole other thing away from local businesses and happy items, but I think that people that are heading towards retirement that don't have enough cash to retire on, what are what what do you see as a feasibility for creating a product to it's it's a lot like what Evan sells, but basically how to how to profit from what you know, how to you know sell what you know about and. What, what kind of resistance would you would you predict, or would from your wealth of experience, uh, what would be the, the biggest pain point resistance dealing with people that are probably still working? You know that that you know because we don't. My my tagline with this is we don't reach the age that we're at without knowing something that somebody else will pay you money to learn. <laughs> that's a good tag. That's good. Um, well, the pain point's really obvious. The last thing you want to do is get to the point in your life where it's time to relax and realize it's time to go back to work. Um, so that's you might. That's that's pretty damn good headline right there. So just, so you might want to snag something like that. But um, but yeah. So that's that's a huge pain point. I think the the biggest friction is going to be. Um, especially with, with people who are older, it's that, can I trust this person? So as long as you build r rapport, credential, and, and credential's important here, like I have X and Y, Z experience, and then you tell your personal story. Uh, it's, it's, that's what's really good. But I mean, when I mentioned the Porter Stansberry End of America, $100 million a year BSL, that's exactly what they sell. They sell retirement slash financial advice, and they do so to the tune of nine figures a year. So. Is there a market for it? It's a massive market for it. It's huge. Um, just make sure that you tap into the into the pain points. I mean, you know, and one of the biggest pain points I know from being in the health industry is, you know, uh, the, is the reason why you need to make sure you have your nest egg isn't so much that you can enjoy your life as much as avoid all the pain that comes with age. I mean, what comes with age, we hate to admit it, but but disease and 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 homes and things of that nature, you need to be prepared for this stuff. Otherwise, the state is going to seize everything. And I'll say this on the last last a bit here, and then we uh, would love to keep talking because this is a great conversation. But we have to we got lots of people in here to, to move on. But the last thing I'll say is I would totally hammer on the way the government has let the elderly down um, because as you know government vitriol right now is at an all-time high it doesn't matter what side of the political fence you might be standing on you can definitely talk about that and say we have to take care of ourselves and we have we owe it to ourselves to take care of our families that's the message I would convey if I was writing that letter so I hope that that helps thank you, thank you. oh you're very welcome thank you Christina okay. you are next yeah Again. And you don't have a camera, I see. So uh, let's see if we can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, go for it. Oh, perfect. Thank you. John, you are a blessing. I'm the lady that's been staying up till 3 and 3.30 in the morning every day since we began this because my brain is truly racing. Thank you so much. So much. Your material is brilliant. Brilliant. So I have questions related to two different subjects. One is because of Accelerator, something that I'm bringing out of the background that I had buried for seven years, and it, it, it could be ready to go. I'd been offered a publishing, I was in discussion to publish years ago on this, and they're very kind of short little vignettes. So I need to ask you a couple of things about that because I've resur resurrected that as a result of this program. And then the other thing is, is that I am a fine artist, and my work shows internationally, but it's one-offs. You know, so it's one painting at a time, and, you know, they, they're, you know, uh, four figures, you know, in the four-figure range as originals. And I don't know how to, so, and there's an inventory of that. Um, so I don't know how to apply, I haven't quite figured out how to apply Celerator to the art yet, and there's a, you know, there's an existing website with images with a tremendous amount of text that obviously needs to entirely be rewritten, um, but again, it's, you know, it's high-end, you know, it's, it's high-end sales with an educated market and very discerning market in that area. 
So that's one. And then the second project is these little vignettes that are short, and they would be compiled as a book or as an ebook, or people could buy one at a time. And there, you know, if I, you know, and I've done the research, you know, since we started this, and and writing headlines and writing copy and did a little bit of a sampling. And I think it's really, you know, I thought it was great to begin with. Other people thought it was great seven years ago. And so I'm not sure if it's only like a little one-page thing, if they're buying one at a time or if they're buying several at a time or how to proceed with that. So I don't know what you want to tackle first. I've been trying to get on this for days, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. The the If I understand the, the, the problem correctly, what we want to do is, first of all, have a sales message that caters to high-end art, and second one is, is to have something that caters to, to more vignette kind of stuff. Um, so take the easiest first. That would be what my suggestion would be. But as far as the sales message itself, and what Celery would do. What I would suggest is looking through the, looking through the course materials. You don't need a long video sales letter. You need like literally like a five. Yeah, I have a five minute version in there. I have a twenty minute version in there. Uh, you can go with a shorter sales message in there. And in this particular case, you definitely want to use pictures. I personally would do a sales message for each art piece of art, even if you replicated the same exact message and just changed the first twenty slides change the first 20 slides to make it a little bit unique. But the pain point that comes to my mind as far as selling something like that, art's very difficult to sell. Um, I am an artist as well. There's a, I, I do a lot of the art that's in, in my house. I've never sold any, uh, but I do it. And, and I come from an artistic background, so I totally get how difficult art is to sell. I was a graphic designer. That's the art I did sell. Um, but th the pain point is, is for, for the people who are willing to buy it is... It comes comes from the fact that the last thing you want to do is have have company over to your home and realize that oh wow I've got that same print on my own you know my son has that same print in his bedroom or something like that so I would tell stories like, like I would just engage the user's mind in saying your home is an investment and in, in, in your in, in it's a testimonial to the quality and the success of your life shouldn't it be adorned with artwork that is equally the same rather than the run-of-the-mill kind of print-oriented artwork. That's why we're proud to produce this, this piece of painting for you. So and all I did was a very short, very little itty-bitty nightmare story, like the thought of somebody walking into your house and saying, oh, I've got that print too, is, is it kind of like for the audience that you're talking about, they wouldn't want that. They would want to have stuff that was very unique to them. And so yeah, I would have that as the... These are all original paintings. Yes. So in other words, it's like, the, but the message is still the same. Uh, rich people, trust me, they, they respond the same as, as poor people and everybody else in between. So they stay, especially the, the prestige is the biggest thing for them. They want, and I just keep going back to like, you know, because you've invested time and work into your life to get where you are, shouldn't you be investing the time and work to, to display who you are? It's kind of an issue of like, art displays who you are to the public. Art makes a statement of who you are and what you're about to everyone that walks in your home. And that's what my art is geared to do. And so uh, so what I did there very briefly, and this is for everybody else, and I wish I could take every question, but uh, we, we have to move on. And, and so come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but so to briefly answer the, the rest of it, what I did was call, what I call the Budweiser effect. I don't know if you guys are, remember when Budweiser used to say their beer was Beechwood aged. Uh, well, almost every beer is Beechwood aged. They were just the first one to say it, and it sounded like there was something unique about Budweiser. Uh, this is the same thing here. All art is geared toward making a self-expression, etc. But when you tell someone that that you do, all you do is you're mentioning this in the message, shouldn't your art be expressive of who you are? You've invested so much time and money to get to this wonderful place in your life. Don't you owe it to yourself to ref to have your home reflect who you are? They, they're going to be nodding. Of course, I owe it to myself. That's exactly right. That's why my art and all you're doing is just is just solidifying the reason why people buy any art or any sports car or whatever it may be. It's for an expression. So I would take it from that position from a sales message and then keep it short because you don't really need a long sales message for that for that art. You just need to, to, to talk about the, the the talk about the the reason why the art is so important, what makes your art unique, and then just talk about the piece. And I would develop like short sales letters for each one of them. So That's I hope awesome. that helps. All right. Tremendous Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. So we are going to jump. Thanks, Christina. Um, we are going to jump to Italy. And Adeline, Adil, how do you pronounce your name? 
we're going to have the same issues. <laughs> yeah, my name would be Adelheid, but you can call me Heidi. So it's Heidi, easy. that's awesome. <laughs> so hi, Heidi. Hi. <laughs> so my question is, I'm uh, obviously European, and we don't like to have sales letters which are three kilometers long. So when I hear they must be long, these things, I really do. I, I don't feel well with that. And I'm now in the situation where I have to create one, and I'm really a little bit huh, at a loss <laughs> what to do. Okay. Um, I, I have two answers for you. Um, so ready for both? Mm -hmm. uh, number one is if you're wanting to sell only to Europeans, um, then you may have a point. Uh, if you're wanting to sell to Americans, the point is moot because we know we don't have to guess. We know from literally 20 years of research that long copy outperforms short copy every single time and twice on Sunday. And the same goes for any, any type of message you can think of. So if that does not work with your sensibilities and you want to market primarily to Italians or primarily to Europeans, of any uh, from any country, then what I would suggest that you do is look at the sh again in Accelerator. I've got a one-minute VSL, and no one's going to be offended by a minute sales message. A five-minute VSL. The five-minute VSL is what I would opt for. So you just do a five-minute VSL, translate it into Italian, and presto, changeo. There you go. Um, that's going to give you the the, uh, the same message, but it's just going to condense it really, really, really tight. So, but hmm. then you know what I would do? I would test that like a mother against the other one because I mean your bottom line is you you want to make sales so test it and see which one actually does convert because you may not like that as I responded to several people on the on, on the Google Plus um, forums it doesn't matter what we like it matters what works it matters what the customer likes uh, within ethical reasons of course so so give the five minute sh uh, VSL a shot and then give the the longer one a shot if you want to test it and the same goes for the page I sent out to you yesterday for example we have a, a course that teaches you how to write miniature sales pages and when I say mini sales pages someone saw it and went wow that's long no, that's really, really short compared to for, for me. But you can take the same idea and, and even condense the paragraphs and make it short. You know. But I would never do a sales page with less than a thousand words ever. So okay. I only have to overcome my hesitation, you know, that I don't want to do it. Hopefully, something comes up. <laughs> well, uh, let me let me just uh, thank you for your call and thank you for saying up so late. Uh, so let me say this: I, when I first got my first sales letter written by somebody else, it was the very first product I ever did. I had to give up fifty percent of my revenue for that product, um, and it was worth it because I got you know I got started. But had I known this, had I had a tool like this, I wouldn't have had to give up fifty percent. So when I got the sales letter back. I asked the writer, first of all, who is this guy? I would like to meet him. And second of all, no one's ever going to read a 6,000 word sales letter. I, well, so I was wrong on both counts. I reread it carefully. I went, wait, he didn't say anything that wasn't true. He just like completely elaborated on points that were true. I mean, if he would have said something that wasn't true, that was different. Well, he said, he said one thing that wasn't true because he thought it was true and then we changed it. But the point is that the letter had no ethical incongruencies in it. It was just long. And I was like, no one's ever going to read this. And he was like saying the same thing I told you. Well, you just have to trust me, you know. And and he, I trusted him enough to literally walk away the second day from a million dollar business that I created from scratch. Um, I just gave it away. I gave it to my vice president. And by the way, uh, the vice president was a he, not a she. I actually, had uh, my uh, apprentice Travis write that email, who's doing a great job, by the way. Um, I just have to congratulate Travis. Uh, Travis is a superb copywriter. He's our production manager here, and most every email, most everything you get from me, I write. Uh, most every sell, sell, every sales page, I write. Um, but if I'm in a hurry and I have to write three things, I have to delegate things out. He mimicked my language patterns really, really well, and threw in his own humor. So he's done a fantastic job with these emails to remind you guys every day. I wrote the first one and then gave it off to him, and he's done a great job. So, and that, by the way, is the power of having templates. So if someone can write and sound like me, and, and it's really cool. But I'm always honest about it. like, well, I'd actually, I'd actually didn't write that. And it, it, uh, funny, funny story. It, it pissed me off. Frank Kern texts me one day in the middle of a webinar, middle of a webinar, and he goes, he said some line that, that I just said. He goes, man, that was just brilliant copy. And I text him back. I go, I didn't write that. That's the one line I didn't write. So it's, it happens, right? It happens to the best of us. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for the call. Thanks for staying up. Um, okay, so the next one, we are really, really running out of time, guys. So we're uh, we're just going to do uh, shorter answers and shorter questions, okay? So we can get to everybody here on the Hangout. So, uh, Philippe, uh, where are you? 
here you are. Hold on. Go for it, man. Um, hi. No, I actually don't have a question. I'm just listening and learning and oh, okay, uh, good. I apologize. Yeah, I didn't mean to raise my hand or <laughs> <laughs> No problem. So we are going to jump to Warren. Warren, do you have a question? Hold on. There you go. Warren? No? Okay, awesome. Uh, I know Bahimi has a question, so let's go to her. I always have a question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, thank you again. I just have to always say thank you because every day is just spectacular, really, honestly. Woohoo! Um, so, this is regarding uh, once you've made your product <clears throat> and uh, you're going to sell it in, a, in your store at, I guess, a reduced rate or something. What is the best way to, to market to that, to create? Because I, that's where an area that I'm very weak in. We create the product. We have good response. People get it, <clears throat> but the, putting it into the store and, and you know, having it available to many that didn't take it is what I'd like to you know, increase those kind of sales. Okay, I just want to understand the question thoroughly. So you're talking about like what happens when people don't buy the first time and you want to, to sell to the people who didn't buy the first time? Did I misunderstand? Right, but it'll go into the store and it'll be less expensive than it was, you know, for the live program. Oh, okay, got yeah, I got it. Well, well, yeah, a lot of people do that all the time, and so you can say the the three words you want to write down that are very, very, very important are exact same value. So in your email, in your sales page, you want to have like this is gives you the exact same value as if you had paid more money, attended the course live, or attended the original webinar, or whatever it may be. Same value for less money. Same exact value. Or the exact same value. It, either one works. Uh, so that's that's the 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 plan to, to do that. So that it's that's a, it's a simple answer, but that that's how I would do it. And send out an email and say, hey, how would you like to save X amount of money on on the course that other people paid blank for? The reason why, and then always give them a reason why. Look, the reason why I'm doing this isn't because I'm being unfair to my original customers. It's because you weren't there live. And so a lot of the benefits the benefits of being there live, I can't give you that, but I can give you the same exact value. Of being there from all the materials, so that's what we do. Okay, and just one other little question: How long would you wait from having the original to putting it into the store and doing that? Uh, that's do it within a week, or yeah. a week, a month, week. I, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong. I, I know guys that send their stuff out like literally two days after a car closes. Um, so it's it's you strike while the iron is hot. Um, and a, if there's a lot of interest being built around it, send a few emails and just say, "Hey, I cannot believe the interest that came around this. It was unbelievable. Just want to say thank you. If you missed it, I'm going to have a special offer for you in a few days. But I just want to give you a couple of quotes. The next email might be like, "I got this one message in from this one person. I just had so to share it with you. No sales links." And then the third email would be like, hey, I've decided to offer this at a discount because it gives you the same exact value, but you weren't there. So Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bahimi. All right. Um, okay, so the next person is, I'm sorry, <laughs> Johnny, I was talking over you. Uh, Benedict? Let's see. If you unmuted. Alan? Good? Yes, awesome. Okay, good, good to go. Hey John, good morning. Uh, thank you again for this uh, incredible data that you're throwing at us, and, that, and I really want to encourage people that have um, sort of stalling on this uh, letter writing and this copywriting stuff. I know that when I've shut the door for two or three days and gone down to my little cabin and just like worked on copy, that's when things have flown, and it just uh, takes a lot of energy, a lot of brainwave stuff. You know, you just got to really get into it and really get into the minds of your customers. But it really, really works. So I'm, I'm just about to purchase the the three times accelerator. Um, I'm I'm sold, and uh, looking forward to tweaking what I can do as well. So thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Benedict. Really appreciate it, and I look forward to having you into the Accelerator family. Oh, by the way, just guys, so you know that once you do purchase, you're taken immediately. You'll create your login, as you'll see on the checkout page, 
Uh, it's 256-bit encrypted and all that stuff. Uh, you'll create your login and your password, and it will ask you to confirm it. And then when you're taken to the next screen, you just log directly into um, app.celerator.com, and you'll log in, and you'll get. It, it will walk you through literally starts from scratch. And, and, and then, just so you guys know, the very first thing you're prompted to do, it won't let you go any further until you create a project. So the very first thing you want to do is create a new project. Even if you say test project, just create something so that you can get into the tutorials because we have to have a project to write the data to. Um, and then uh, and then dive in. You'll you'll really enjoy it. So thanks. Look forward to seeing you. Awesome. Thank you. Um, okay. Thank you. And, and the, last, uh, the last guy here, Eric, you jumped in and out, in and out. Do you have a question? You are muted. Unmute yourself. How about now? Very good. Go for Is that it. A yes? Yes. Cool. Very good. Thanks for having me again. Um, I am uh, John, a Celerator member, and I wanted to clarify. Ah, uh, we just lost him. <laughs> we just lost him. So. Um, uh, okay. Eric, put Eric? that question in the comments, and uh, John, really, he's the one answering all the comments. Oh, he, come, he came back. Let me see if we can get him. And if not, we are right on time. <laughs> Scott, do you have a question? I didn't hear you, uh, John. You fat. Let's go yeah. these, these questions as quickly as we can, but let's only invite people on who have not asked a question before because it's not fair to everybody else. So not anything personal against anyone that's asking questions, but we want to get as many people on as we can that wanted to ask a question. Uh, Scott, did you ask a question before? Yeah, I, I, I think Okay, and here's Eric. Here's Eric. Yeah, Eric's cool. Because I kicked him off. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. <laughs> Eric? Uh, yeah, you had mentioned the uh, the four hours of coaching. I'm already a, a member with Accelerator, John. Uh, I wanted to know, was that already included, or is that something that can be included if we're we're already a part of the uh, program? Great question, Eric. Thank you for asking that. So here's the story behind that. That was never included in the original uh, purchase price. And we added it to the new purchase price. Um, I'm I'm basically eating what we're doing out of pocket for, for this for this one, uh, but we do have a coaching package that gives you the coaching. Plus, it also gives you a, a really cool little deal where, where one of our production guys calls you for half an hour, so it's extra. And so originally we sold this for. I, don't, I hope you guys are setting down. It's through it was three thousand dollars. I mean, as you can imagine, because it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's it's expensive. But we decided to make it for Celerator members four ninety-seven. Um, and we just don't make any money off it. We go, basically, it's we want to give you guys as much support as we can and let the coaches take it from there. So, Eric, if you want to send a support email to support at accelerator.com, I'll send you a link to where you can hook up. And so for the people that get get it now, because we, we, we went from 1997 to 2297 to 2997 to 2997, so um, that's the, the, the most recent price change, which was happened last week, are the only people that are in. But so we'll get you in for for that for the differential. That's awesome. I think this is so valuable, guys. I'm like, okay. Uh, last question, Diane. Uh, let me see if you are in, and then we are trying to stay on time. Can you speak, Diane? Diane? We see you moving, but not hearing you. Okay, so I think, John, that uh, this concludes our fifth uh, five day of the Hangathon. And, and sort of. Uh, we got a couple other people that want to ask questions, and I'm saying let's go five or ten minutes over if we have to because we got a lot of people in here. And I don't want to let anyone feel slighted. So if you can, I can. I can do that, yeah. I just want to make sure that we Scott, are. Scott, we've got Scott, and we've got, um, let me see who else. I don't know if Diane wants to ask a question. Uh, Warren is here. Um, so Warren, I just want to make sure you guys. Video audio didn't work out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Scott? Uh, Scott, do you have a question? I think they're good. Okay. Uh, oh, Eric. I'm so, it's Eric Scott. My my. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Okay. Scott said he's good. He just. Okay. Uh, Scott wanted to know who won the book, and that was announced earlier in the in the hangoutathon. So. Uh, watch you guys the replay. Want to announce it. Yeah. Watch the replay. Yeah. And it wasn't a guy. Yeah. So I can tell you. <laughs> it wasn't a guy. And then uh, Diane, 
Do we see you? I don't know if we see you. You are unmuted, friends, so if you want to speak, there we go. Go for it, try. I'm good. I'm good. Yes, okay, go for it. Woohoo. <laughs> No, I'm, I, I don't oh, have a question. Have any questions. Okay, I thought you were good. You can have, uh, we can have your microphone. <laughs> okay, okay so, well, hey, good, so I think we're good. We're, we're, all right, so, so yeah, we, any other questions, just stick them in the chat, and uh, we'll get to everyone that we can. So let me just tease what tomorrow is about, and then, uh, then if at, you can sign us off. Tomorrow we start this day 6 through 10, so we are officially at this point halfway through the hangout a -thon. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'd love to do this every day if I could. <laughs> It'd be kind of groovy. Um, but what we're going to do for the next five days is each day is going to be dedicated to the one step of the five-step VSL formula. So day one is step one, day two is step two, or in this case it's day six is step one, day seven is step two, et cetera, et cetera. You will definitely want to have the worksheets in front of you. And not only that, you're going to want to have an extra sheet of paper because I don't think there's enough room on there. Um, and Accelerator members, you'll want to join just so you can get an even more thorough grasp of what's going on. Non-Celerator members, we're going to be using the Celerator as the tutorial for the teaching segments. So I'm literally taking you inside the software um, and giving you everything but, of course, the most valuable thing, which is the sales copy, but I'm giving you the structure so that at the very, very, very least, you're going to be able to go, okay, at least I know the structure down to the wireframe of what to put inside of a video sales letter. And by the way, this works for sales pages as well. So look forward to having you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot for being here today. And thank you guys so much. This has been a pleasure. Like John, I'm enjoying every day. It's kind of like almost like a mastermind where we're just gaining so much information. This is so great. Thank you for showing up, bringing your questions. If you're watching the replay, make sure to put your questions in the comment. We are reading and responding to them. And you can come the next day um, and speak to John face to face. So thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow.